What's up, you guys? It's the Anime Blaze coming to you with another video. Uh, I was going to wait a while to do this video partic in particular uh, because I'm going to be ordering something sometime soon through the mail. And I was going to wait to do a pickups video for February and March. But with this thing I just now bought a couple of minutes ago, uh, <laughs> I couldn't wait. Uh, this is also what I put on uh, the bulletin that I sent out uh, last night that uh, said I got something cool and epic to show you guys. So this is just a quick pickups and uh, unboxing. I guess you could say unboxing kind of video without the box, of course. But uh, let's get started with this video. Now, last month in February, I had a Barnes & Noble's gift card. And the only time I ever go to Barnes & Noble's is whenever I get a gift card because they always sell their books and stuff. Uh, well, let me just say it this way. There is the... Uh, I get most of my books from Amazon, so let me just give you a little idea of where Barnes & Noble's prices are. There's the Amazon price, which is low, lower than a sales price, and then there's the sales price, which is, you know, kind of good, not too high, a little bit, a little bit higher than the Amazon price. And then there's the Barnes & Noble's price, which is way above the sales price. So... The only time I actually go there is if I get a gift card or something like that because their stuff is way too expensive. So when I went there, I went and bought Seven Billion Needles Volume One, and uh, I would have bought Volume Four, but uh, yeah, well, I would have bought Volume Four, but they didn't have. I didn't really just want to skip from one to three and just get four. They didn't have volume two, so I was like, you know, I'm just going to get one and three. Uh, and this is volume three of Seven Billion Needles. Uh, it's a very good series, I got to say. If you guys have ever read Parasite, it's really, really, really similar in a way, except there's a few slight changes. Let me just do like a short synopsis on this thing. Um... If I'm not mistaken, the main character's name is Hikaru. Um, yeah, Hikaru. And she's like your ordinary, I guess, well, semi-ordinary teenager. And uh, the story begins with her on a class field trip. And she sees this weird-looking asteroid. Not really asteroid, but like a shooting star or something. What she thinks is a shooting star. But what actually is, it turns out to be... It, it, I don't know. It, it's hard to describe. It's not really an asteroid or a meteor or anything. It just like flies and hits her and disintegrates her whole body. Uh, from as you can see from the cover, what actually happened? Uh, you know, the skeleton there. That's her. She just sees it and just skin just starts flying everywhere. Um, after that, she see she here's this weird buzzing sound that's she's like what the heck so you know naturally her she's always listening to music so she turns the music up louder on her mp3 player then she keeps hearing this and then she turns it up even louder and then finally she just what the heck is this noise and then she hears a voice in her head say finally i found a way to communicate with you as it turns out there's this weird kind of being that has pretty much needed a host so in order to find a host it destroyed her body uh, but recreated her, I guess, recreated her body so she could live a normal life still. Basically, um, what she has to do, this, this story is, this manga is like really good, really, really cool. Uh, it has to deal with, uh, I guess, evolution in a way, but not really so much as evolution is like we're evolving into like some weird kind of creatures, but more along the lines of, uh, more along the lines of like where they think uh, the creatures may have started from stuff like that and uh, volume one starts off with uh, her getting to know this guy this virus not really a virus but this thing that's pretty much possessed her I guess not really possessed but has became a parasite on her I guess I don't know and uh, it tells her you know it's not really evil and actually it actually is really smart it knows everything from like the beginning of the universe, that sort of thing. And it's kind of weird how that happens, but uh, it tells her it's really smart and actually wants to help her save humanity. So 
pretty much she teams up with it. She has to do, she teams up with this thing that's in her body to help her save the universe. Volume 1 involves them taking down this weird creature that pretty much is just like them but a little bit lower class than them. And uh, is more violent, very, very violent. Uh, by then, I'll let you read on if you want to. But uh, it's very, very interesting. Now, for my favorite part of the video, finally, uh, it's the unboxing. If you're wondering what series I have, well, it's sort of classic. Let me just do a little short background. This show was back, came on in Cartoon Network. I think it was Toonami, if I'm not mistaken. I was like four or five when it started. You know, it was very, very awesome. The name of this show, let me just show it to you real quick, is Cyborg 009, or some people call it Cyborg 009, but, man, this, this series takes me way back. I remember seeing this show just like a little bit, but I'd honestly want to, like, I'd honestly just want to rewatch this show. They, they never did the full 26 episodes in the U.S., unfortunately. They only did, like, the first, I think, first 10. That's how many are on here. Um, and I'm just kind of disappointed that they didn't do the full 26. And uh, actually, Cyber 009 is from, like, way back in the 60s, late 60s. And they did uh, different anime films for it. And a matter of fact, there's supposed to be an anime film for it coming out this year. So if you're interested in classic anime and that sort of thing, I'd recommend you check out that movie whenever it comes out because you might be, you might find yourself interested with this. So, all right, let's go ahead and do this unboxing video. Maybe, uh, this unboxing, you, know, you guys are probably getting tired of me talking. All right, let's see. Open it up with my house key. And I got this one used for like eight bucks. I don't know what the store was trying to pull though. They had like two others of the same thing for 20 bucks and this one was eight bucks. I, I went with the cheaper one. I'm sorry, I'm not stupid. But uh, yeah, Cyborg 009. It, it looks brand new. It looks like it's in like mint condition. Whoever had it before me took get good care of it. Feel sorry for them though because I ain't letting this thing go. But uh, Let's open it up and take a look at what's inside. All right, we got a little thing here, an advertisement from Tokyo Pop, which unfortunately went out of business for a Cyborg 009 manga. I saw, one, I saw this at a comic book store once. Should have got it. And uh, what else we got here? We got a character book with, uh, with the synopsis on the different characters. Joe, Joe Shimamura, uh, Chang Chang Ku, I don't know, Albert Heinrich, and all these characters are from uh, different countries and stuff. See, so look, Joe, he's half Japanese. Uh, this girl, you can tell from the name that she's from France. And uh, this looks really interesting. And on the back, they have pretty much, I guess you could say, an advertisement for other shows and movies. Uh, you got Metropolis, I already got that. Let me see. Metropolis, Cowboy Bebop, the movie, um, and Spider-Man. Don't know how that got in there, but okay. Um, before I get off of here real quick, I want, just want to show you guys what these discs look like. Uh, I don't even have to take it off, I can just do this. Uh, disc one, Black Ghost is a terrorist organization in this show. Disc two, uh, I'm not exactly sure who that is, but I'm sure I'll find out later on. Um, and you know, I'm just really psyched to check out the show again. It's been like, it's been over ten. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen the show, and uh, I'll watch this and get back to you guys with the review of what I thought of this two disc set and uh, what exactly are my thoughts on Cyborg 009 and everything like that. I'll get back to you guys with that on the review. For now, this is the Anime Blaze ending my first unboxing video. 
I'm real psyched right now. Get ready to go watch Cyborg 009. Uh, I'll check you guys later.